Hi everybody, um, I posted a video up earlier today about a live pregnancy test that I did that came back negative. Kind of figured it would, but I figured I would do it anyway. Um, so I was telling you guys in the previous video about all the wreaths that I had made and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video here. I told you guys that I had one for like summertime that I wasn't sure if I was going to put up this year or not. Um, I've been meaning to get around to it. I just haven't gotten it. I've had this stuff since springtime. So I just, I never got around to getting it done. Um, so this is the wreath form here. It is 14 inches and it comes wrapped in plastic, like completely wrapped in plastic with this here behind it. So you've got something that looks like that and that's what it looks like when you buy it in the store. Um, it's just a 14 inch foam wreath obviously like it says right there and then on the back here it gives you a, like instructions to make a sports fan wreath like this and a piece kind of hippie kind of wreath right here um i've never done either one of those yet i don't know if i'm going to or not but i just i like how my wreaths look so I'll probably just stick with the wreaths that I make. But if you guys aren't really all that crafty and you need written instructions, there's stuff right here. Um, this sports wreath, you don't have to actually do sports. You can do any kind of other fabric that you like. Um, if I ever find some piggy fabric, I will probably make myself a piggy wreath for on my bedroom door. Uh, so I'll have to actually go and look at that and see if I can find any piggy um, fabric. I looked at Joanne Fabrics and they didn't have anything. So I think I'll have to look when I'm up in Erie on the 9th. But this is the wreath here. Um, like I said, it comes wrapped up in the plastic. If the plastic is ever ripped when I go to buy them, I don't get them. Because you never know if someone was like messing with the actual wreath form or not so I just I don't like to chance it because if someone did mess with it then that could mess up your entire project because it could ruin the stru structural integrity of the wreath like if they stuck a bunch of needles or something up through here and pushed all that out of there that would make a really weak spot so I tend not to buy them if the plastic this is here is the plastic that is wrapped around it. Um, I tend not to buy it if that is ripped before I get a hold of it. Um, one thing that I do do now since I've had a couple of my wreaths fall off my door and break, I now wrap it a couple times in your like your packing tape. You can use um, white duct tape. You can use any kind of tape to help make this a stronger structure. Um, again, I just use packing tape and I start down here at the seam right there. I start right there and I wrap the tape around it a couple times and then I just kind of go in a spiral uh, motion and back down to this here. And then I just continue around again to make sure that I got all of these spots to where there's nothing open. So on to what I use for them. These are the tool rolls that I'm going to be using. They're Wyla Mate Tool. They're 100% nylon. And they're 6 inches this way. And there's 25 yards on this roll. Um, they're both 25 yards. That's how much is on that roll there. So um, I, I do believe it's plenty enough to do just one of these um, I might need a little bit more but if I do I could just always fan it out to make sure that there's enough to cover it if you don't feel like going back and buying more since I got these in the springtime I don't know if they'll still have these colors so I might just have to do the best of what I can with what I have um, 
These I got at Joann Fabrics, and I do believe they were $4.99 a piece. Uh, when I got them, though, they were on sale, just like everything is when I get it at Joann Fabrics. It's, I think I got it for $1.99 or $2.99, so that was an awesome deal for a $6 roll of tool for either $2 or $3, I can't remember. But, um, like I said, the wreath forms I get at Walmart because they're just as good as the ones that you get at Joann Fabrics. I've actually never had a small one that blew off the door and broke. Um, granted, this will only be my second small one that I've made for myself, but no one else has, no one else has complained about their wreath falling off either. And again, the only reason mine fall off is because I live right on the water so we get a lot more wind. So onto the tool, I'm going to start with the orange first. You just cut open the tool here if I can. Uh, they have it taped so the plastic paper, like yeah the plastic paper, so the paper doesn't like come off or anything so they can still scan it. Okay, so you've got the, the paper now removed. And this tool here, they have it so it's like sticky in one spot. I do believe it's these ones. Nope, they've got these ones taped too. <clears throat> so when you're done at the end of the day, uh, usually I just take some tape and just retape it so that my tool's not getting dirty or messed up or anything like that. So you just pull that plastic cover off and now you have access to your tool. Uh, this is a mesh object. Uh, you can't really tell. But you can see me through it, right? Ha <laughs> ha. So, like, yeah, there's the tool. Um, like, on the roll, you can't really see anything through it because there's so many layers. And once you've got it bunched up, pretty much like what you have to do, you can see the actual color of it. So the color does matter. Um, on one of the wreaths that I made, I messed up and I didn't get enough tool and I had to go back and um, it was actually a white. Uh, well, it turns out that the first time I had gotten an ivory and the other time I got like a crystal white. So whenever it was up on the wreath, you could actually really tell the difference between the two colors and it just, it didn't look right, but actually that's one of the ones that broke. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point, but okay. So to begin, I don't actually have like a real measurement for the size that you need to cut it. Uh, usually I just, I cut it around this. I'd say about eight inches or so. Um, that just depends on how like how much you want extra hanging off of the wreath. So what I do is after I get this piece, I usually cut more than one piece at a time, but I don't want this video to be super long. So I'll just show you guys one piece, which will be actually four pieces for like once it's on the wreath. I'll show you guys the orange and then I'll show you guys the green so that you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. So the way that it came off of the roll, so it's going to be six inches like up and down here, you want to fold that in half and then fold it in half again. So you've got kind of like a hot dog bun type thing. And then what I do is I cut that in half so that you've got roughly three inches now here and three inches here. And then I put those together so you've got one big piece that, like one big chunk here, and then I cut those in half. Um, this way you have three, or you actually have four, three inch, four, like one and a half inch wide pieces. So this is a piece, here's a piece, here's a piece, and here's a piece. So there's four pieces now. Now when I put it on the wreath, let me get my wreath form ready here. Um, I usually stick my foot in it to kind of secure it because I, I'm doing this on my bed right now. Um, 
I'm a big old pansy when it comes to heat and humidity. So I just, I decided to do it in my bedroom today because the air conditioner. So let me see if I can get this so you guys can see the wreath better. Okay, that's better. So you take this piece of tool here and you have it opened up to where it's the full length that you had just cut and it's one and a half inch this way. And it's like I said, roughly about eight inches this way. So what I do is I just put it underneath the wreath. So you've got these little spots here and then you just kind of, you tie it once like you're gonna tie a bow or tie your shoe and you just do that twice. And then once it gets full and everything, these will stick straight up. But as of right now, they're just kind of going every which way. Uh, so that's that's all you really have to do. Um, again, you pull it underneath your wreath. Go to tie it like you're tying your shoe once. And then you do it twice, just like you're going to tie your shoe. Um, these ones here are actually a little short to my liking. So... Next time I'm gonna make them a little longer. Um, if you tape it, be careful of which way you try to pull your tool. Uh, if you feel, you can feel one way it's rough and the other way is smooth, you wanna pull the tool towards you or away from you depending on which way is the smooth way. Uh, you don't wanna pull it so it's on, like getting caught on uh, the little air pockets that are in the tape because if you do, you could rip your tool and that piece would be garbage. So just make sure you pull it the smooth way if you wrap your tape. If you don't wrap it in tape, you don't have to worry about that. So this is the third piece here. And you wanna make sure you pull them tight so that you're not getting a bunch of loose pieces that are turning around on your wreath. <clears throat> you want it to where it'll stay completely together where you had it. Okay, so I pulled it towards me because that's the smooth way. And that's what the wreath is going to start to look like. This is going to be an orange section. Um, I'll probably do a, like the orange out to like here and then the green to here. And then the orange to here. Just kind of make them like even. This way you're not getting a big patch of green and then a little patch of orange. Unless that's what you want. Um, I try to make mine pretty even to where um, like if I add letters or something like that onto it I don't have to worry about what side is going to be like where I want to put the letters if you understand what I'm trying to say so I'm getting my green open right now and I'm going to get a piece cut so I can show you guys what the green looks like next to the orange and what the finished wreath would sort of kind of look like. Uh, I will do a video update on when I get this finished. Usually if I work like consecutively for, I don't know, probably it would take about eight hours total to finish one for me. Uh, that's with me getting up to go to the bathroom and watching TV while I'm doing it so I get distracted and there's all kinds of distractions when I'm doing this, but I would say about eight hours total of working time. Uh, usually takes me a couple of days to a week, if not longer, to get one completely finished. So, again, the green, you do the same thing that you did with the orange. Put it under, go like you're going to tie your shoes, like you pull the laces tight and have them twisted, and that's what you do again. So you've got one green. This will be number two. This will be number three.
And this will be number four. And again, don't hit, pull it towards the rough side because it could rip the tool. So now I've got my green and my orange side by side, and that's what the wreath is gonna look like, only with bigger sections of orange and green all the way around. Um, again, if you guys can tell, the green is a little bit longer than the orange. I think I did like nine or 10 inches roughly. Uh, it doesn't have to be an exact like measurement because the, the rougher it looks, I guess, the better it looks is what I think. Um, I think it looks better if it's not all like symmetrical. If you get one piece that's way, way like out here, you can always trim it off after you have it attached. You just don't want to cut it too short to where you can't work with it or it's going to be noticeable. Um, like you can't really tell a whole lot here, but once I've get the wreath finished, that spot isn't going to just stick out. And if it does, you can always pull the smooth way. You could pull these pieces of tool towards you or away from you again, and you could space these out within the orange sections that you do so that it's not all grouped together and going to be really noticeable. But that's it for this video. Um, again, I'll show you guys once I get this um, completely finished, like with the tool and everything. I don't know if I'm going to add words to it or not yet, but if I do, it'll be like summer or something like that. And then, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll show you guys once it's finished. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. Um, if you guys don't like it, just let me know down in the comments what you don't like. And if you do actually really like it, and if you guys give it a try, leave a link down below to a picture or a video or something that you did to complete it so I can see the work that you guys did. Um, I'd really love to see your guys' work. <clears throat> um, if you guys have any other questions, just make sure you leave them down below. Just like... Um, if you don't like the video, leave a reason why. Um, any other questions or comments, obviously you leave down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Bye everybody.